Will the furlough scheme last for a while longer? It's due, of course, to finish in April, but the restrictions are not going to lift, or all the restrictions won't lift till June. Well, when it comes to support in general, I said at the beginning of this crisis that I would do whatever it took to protect people, families and businesses through this crisis, and I remain completely committed to that. The Prime Minister, in, in the roadmap, set out a path for us to recover and reopen, and I want to support people and businesses along that path. So, so it that's is going to be extended. I'm not going to comment on specific policies, but I want to make sure people realise that you know, we are going to be there to support them. And if you look at our track record, we went big, we went early, and there's more to come next week. With regard to airports, for example, they had a generous break on their business rates over this past year. The furlough scheme I know has been helpful for many people employed in that industry. I know how difficult it is, and I want them to have the reassurance that we are here to keep supporting people as we reopen the economy. But Andy wants specific reassurance on the furlough scheme. Well, I, I, Wednesday is budget when we'll set out the next step of, of everything, but Andy and others, you know, hopefully will have had reassurance over the past year, knowing that we've done absolutely everything we can to support businesses, families and people through this crisis, and we remain, as you can see by today's announcement, uh, supporting our high street businesses committed to that goal. Once restrictions are eased, is that going to be the time to start winding up some of the support packages you're talking about? Well, I think it's right that the support aligns with the roadmap. So the Prime Minister's roadmap has a path on which we will uh, slowly reopen our economy, and we want to make sure that our support uh, supports people along that path, and that's what you will see on Wednesday. And, and we've been doing this for a while. Our support has been adapting and evolving. Remember, back in July last year, I set out our plan for jobs. That's because protecting and supporting and creating jobs is my number one economic priority.